OpenAI is going to war with a man who owns a trademark and website with the name OpenAI with a space. The man at the center of the lawsuit filed a trademark on the name Open Space AI the same day Sam Altman and Greg Brockman announced their company OpenAI. This man, Guy Ravine, claims to have invented the video sharing technology later made famous by Snapchat and TikTok. Evan Ratliff wrote about it in Bloomberg Business Week and joins us now. It is an incredible tale, uh, some incredible reporting. It's probably one where chronology is important. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, open Space AI and Open AI were born at the same time. Take us from there. So essentially, uh, this gentleman, Guy Ravine, who is a kind of technologist uh, inventor uh, who lives in Silicon Valley, he had come up with an idea, and he can document this, for OpenAI with a space. And the idea was that there, it would be a nonprofit that would be engaged in deep learning research. And the way that they would lure researchers away from Google, which was dominating deep learning research at the time, was that they would say that everything would be open. The research would be open. It would all be done for the benefit of humanity. And if you know anything about OpenAI, the company, the organization, OpenAI without a space, that is also their origin story. Uh, they just launched uh, some months after Ravine can document that he was pitching this story around Silicon Valley. So they launched in December of uh, 2011. The pitching is important because you originally thought Evan might be a bit of a scammer. And then you went to some of the really key names in Silicon Valley, Jan Lecoum, for example, and asked, like, did he come to you? Is he legit? And one key person came back and said, I think he is. He did. And that's to me is what makes this story so, so interesting and different and kind of the story that you don't hear about very often, which is that it at first seemed like this was kind of what they call a trademark troll lawsuit. Like he filed the trademark the day that OpenAI launched. Like maybe he's just trying to usurp it from them. He owns the domain, open.ai. But then it turned out that some of the people that he had pitched to, one in particular, Tom Gruber, who's the co-inventor of Siri, who used to be at Apple, who's a respected name in AI, he, he's backing Guy Ravine up. He says, yes, he pitched me this idea. Not only did he pitch me, pitch me this idea, I can document that he had it before OpenAI, the company, launched. And so it's not a case of someone just claiming something out there in the blue. It's actually there are people to whom he pitched the story, and there are documents showing that he pitched the idea before it launched. Now, whether that legally matters is going to be you know, decided in the courts. Uh, if you're just joining us on Bloomberg Technology, this really is a must read in the Business Week magazine. There's litigation ongoing here, right? There's the trademark dispute. There's a suit. Just update us on, on the latest on those fronts, Evan. So essentially, I mean, OpenAI has, has really prevailed in the arguments so far. I mean, they got a preliminary injunction against Guy Ravine, so he can no longer use OpenAI, uh, the trademark, or the domain open.ai, which he again, bought well before OpenAI launched. So he can't use either of those right now. Um, he filed a countersuit against them, claiming they stole the idea from him, that most of that countersuit was dismissed, and now it's been refiled. So he's had setbacks in court, uh, but they're a long way from, you know, what would eventually be likely a jury trial if they ever get that far. That, that would be minimum months, if not, you know, over a year away. These things always take an awful lot of time. Evan, what do you think the response will be from OpenAI to this investigation of yours? How have you been talking to the company without a space? Well, the company didn't uh, have much interest in commenting. I mean, of course, they've they've filed a lot of arguments in court, and so their sort of their comments are in their legal briefs. Their only sort of general comment was, you know, we took legal action action to stop the intentional use of OpenAI from confusing and misleading our users. Now, I think the, one of the big questions around the lawsuit is why don't they just settle this lawsuit? Because the money that they're spending in lawyers is probably, you could guess, already greater than they might have settled the lawsuit for. And the longer it goes on, the more that's true. Now, whether they want to make an example of Guy Ravine or with their new funding round, it doesn't really matter to them how much money they spend. I think those will be the questions. But I think the, the pressure always mounts the closer you get to actually having a jury trial. 